This is where Burnett's granddaughter, Lily, comes into our story. She lives with her mom and dad in the big city, a few hours train ride from Shining Time. She sees magic no one else has time to, like lovely reflections of light on a rainy day. Soon, she was off to stay with her grandpa on Muffle Mountain. Grandpa's been so sad since Grandma Tasha died, and he never comes here to see us. Well, maybe your visit will cheer him up, hmm? Did you get his present? Here. I'm making him a friendship bracelet. Honey, that's beautiful. But I'd rather just stay here with you. I know. Come here. I'm gonna go up this way. Okay. Be careful. You always say that. <laughs> See you in a minute. You're coming with me to Grandpa's Bluebird. I know how much you like to travel. Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful, too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels, puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine, hmm? Mm. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. <laughs> Bossy sprockets. All that steam has gone to your funnel. Hey, there they are. We'll fix their wagons. I'm not good at backing up. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Hey, hey, <laughs> just watch what happens to that blue puffball when Harold the Flopper Chopper flies past here. Right. <laughs> Routine flyby, chaps. Hello. <laughs> the boss dumps sneezing powder everywhere. <laughs> Let's start laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, brutes. Bit of a dust-up. Love to stay in cleanup. Got to go. Bye now. Uh, did you mean to look like that? Uh, no. Uh, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing. The choo choo! Dear Mr. Conductor, where were you? My wife said she couldn't miss our little holiday. We'll telephone to make sure you have arrived. Signed, Sir Topham Hatt. Good afternoon, sir. A real honor, sir, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Uh, yes. Watch out for Diesel, definitely. But keep an eye on Henry's health, certainly. Uh, yes, sir, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, I mean, I will be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. Goodbye, sir. 